Welcome to NXT. It is I, your boy, Straight Edge Warrior, aka Warrior Edge. And we saw, I'm sorry for the uh, screw up here. We're just getting started here. Uh, I am the general. Oh, this is a new series we're starting here on YouTube. I'm here with with Y2J Bacon XD. This is my show, though. We're gonna do this little universe thing. This is uh, NXT. We already did our we did our little draft. We'll show you the roster afterwards. Uh, but uh, we're gonna jump right in. Uh, yeah. By the way, technically speaking. He, he, he's the general manager of SmackDown, and I am the general manager of NXT. So let's jump right in. We got Falls Count Anywhere, the Brian Kendrick, the Cruiserweight Champion, versus TJP. Let's get into it. Ignore that if that shows up. Doubt it will. Probably not. Uh, it, yeah. Ignore that. That's just my own stupidity on technology. Well, we got Falls Count Anywhere. Cruiserweight non-title match. That's, that's something I picked as my exclusive. I have the Cruiserweight division here at NXT. The next gen. Yeah, I'm just getting this out of the way. If anyone is wondering about, like, custom characters, they'll let you get added in the long run. Yeah. Here comes the man with a plan. He, Brian, and he. Are you aware of me, Brian Kendrick's text persona of Spank? Uh, no. Go watch SmackDown, circa 2003. Yeah, he's the man with the plan, though. Oh, okay. I guarantee you, he's always got a plan. I'm saying plan for you. Are you sure about me? Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Alright. I'm glad I have to do it. That's Here comes TJ Perkins, the winner of the very first and thus far the only weight classic of that year. The crowd is not welcoming TJ Peter. To be honest, that that makes me feel welcomed already. What about this theme song? Really? Well, the video games? We're playing a video game? Oh, did I say that out loud? Break the fourth wall. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Very first match of NXT gonna get underway here. Uh, if you're wondering about upload schedule, uh, Thursday is the day that he picked. So if you're watching this, the day is this is being uploaded, hopefully. And it's probably going to be uploaded on Friday. The, uh, the, uh, you know, here's on the 27th. So if this is uploaded the 27th, that's good because it's supposed to be uploaded on Friday because I chose Friday. He chose Thursdays, so we're going to try to get you the upload schedule based on the day that we chose. Alright, let's get this started. Brian Kendrick with a neck break. Start the job. Oh, TJP fighting back. Not going to let Brian Kendrick get ahead of him that fast. Turn for on I'm, I'm curious to see what Kendrick's plan is here. Right, Kendrick countered! Countered what we could have assumed was a Hurricanrana. TJP taking a breather to the outside of the ring. 
It wouldn't surprise me why he decided to take advantage of here. He's already he, gay. He doesn't want to deal with this plan. Oh, Kendrick went for the drop kick and fell right on his head. Fireman's carry table. Oh, he hits the hurt Nirvana this time! Uh, if you're wondering about uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Now that we're getting back into recording, I'm going to try to get Mike to do some of my deck profile with Dueling on the Edge. That series should be coming back fairly soon. Hopefully. And, and maybe, just maybe, he could probably do like more comments than he knows. I think, I, I think you already shared an idea, we're just going to yeah. keep that to ourselves for now. Yeah. Oh, Kendra takes out the rat! Oh. And TJP rat. takes down Brian Kendrick. Kendrick taking a foul? Uh, if you're wondering about uh, where James is, James actually has started his own YouTube. Kendrick missed there. Suplex. Oh yeah, about the uploads. Like, kind of thought about this, but my show would go on, it would probably be uploaded onto my channel, and then his would be uploaded onto his. I was thinking the exact same thing. And we'll alternate. Yeah. By the way, in case anybody... I want to give a... Shout-out to, uh... Steven Larson. And going in raw, they were actually... The friendos who kind of gave me the idea to do this. Because I was watching their uh, 2K17 universe mode. Of course, W Steve W. Or Steve. Fun wrestling for Larson. Those were always fun to watch for me, so. Got the idea when 2K, 2K18. Mike jumped right on board. By the way, since Mike is new to my videos, if, if you go to, uh. You play Yu Gi Oh! online, Mike actually is part of my clan. You wanna give them your uh doing book uh, tag? Missed the four fifties. Oh. They catch it for the back. So uh, you wanna give them your tag for uh doing book? Alright, uh yeah. Uh, anyways, um super kick. Anyway, you can find my, uh, you can find me on there, my name is, uh, Kamate243, that's 243, there's a significant number above it, right? Yeah, that number actually has some significance to it. You are, oh, 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 slice by number two, from Kendrick, go for the pin! And only have one count. If you want to find out that significance, Yama will, uh, will, will uh, me, me and Mike will leave yeah, a I'll, comment I'll, I'll about I'll, a clue. I'll, uh, 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 isn't there a way to do a or, or, in the comment section, you, uh, you guys give us your guesses, we'll give, we'll give you the hint, and then, from, uh, Yama's, uh, episode of SmackDown, which hopefully we'll upload tomorrow. Uh, he'll, he'll reveal the answer. Or should we wait a week? Uh, okay. okay, you got till next Friday. Face bust. Kendrick trying to finish this match early. And again, a one count. Uh, that's something that I'm actually going to turn off while we while we record. I'm actually going to uh, turn off the counts. Well, I can't really do that. You know, you know, you know. Yeah. Right. 
Kendrick showboat. TJ Kendrick. He's setting Kendrick up for something. Head scissors take over. DJP might be going for the uh might be going for the submission. And Kendrick! Captain's hook! Captain's hook! Captain's hook submission hole. Locked in. Will the champion make her make TJP tap out here? TJP fighting it. TJP breaks out with the reversal. I'm surprised now. And another head. You, you got to think if TJP gets a win over Brian Kendrick here. You'd be in the title. Oh, knee to the back. <laughs> Going for the captain's hook again. DJP might get out of this a second time. Let's see how lucky he is. And he, he reverses. Yeah. How much longer is he going to keep this up? Oh, he just slapped him! And another super kick! And a kick out at two. That was good. Hendrick says enough games. Gonna twist the neck. DJP already severely injured in his head. Kendrick gonna keep doing wow. that. How much more punishment can he take? Can TJP fight out of this? And they're going up top. Oh, the coup de gras! He got it one. We're at four stars right now. Oh! Go for the pin. And I'll kick out at one. It's gonna take more punishment for TJP to put Kendrick down. TJP going up top. And a head scissors take over her at Corona. Go for the pin again. And another kick out at one. The arm bar. Reverse arm bar. And another kick out at one. You know, the fans don't seem to like TJP. I think they're pretty bored. <laughs> and another armbar. Perkins working over Kendrick's arm.
cross face knee. I really gotta learn that. Yeah. Yeah, if I have a lot of work here myself. JP, that's a good connect. G J P hits the finisher. Oh, let's see this new one there. Sends Kendrick going back. Will that finish the champion? And TJP defeats the Cruiserweight Champion. Let's take a look at the highlights of this match. Again, sorry for the... Yeah. Uh, yeah. That slice threat number two thought he had him here. First time he went to the finisher. Kendrick breaks out of that one. And a super kick. I don't know if that was the second or the third one. But it only kept TJP down for two. Another near fall. Here is the deck breaker that changed the tides. He didn't get him here. But it certainly changed the tide. JP gonna step it up. Now turn himself. The number one contender. Let's. That was a four and a half star match. Well, the fans like that one. I guess we got Roman Reigns coming out for a promo. I was gonna say we could actually have the computer do it. True. Yeah, let's just have the computer do it from now on. Well, no, well, we're still doing the matches. Yeah. Yeah. What will Roman Reigns have to say? It might actually have one of us do it. I think it might have one of us do it, actually. We'll see. We'll see. This is the first time I've done universe mode like this. Yeah. And the first time I've touched universe mode since getting this game. On the Deluxe Edition and Sinoff Edition release. Four days early. Yeah, I guess one of us has to do it, so I guess I have to do it. All right. All right. Let's see what Roman has to say. Roman Reigns is obviously not a light guy. You know Vince sees Roman as his next top guy. Yeah. This is the first time we've done a promo guys. No disrespect, but let's dial things down out here. We got some business that needs to be attended to. I'm here because there seems to be some question as to whether I'm not the best or am I. So maybe it's time to prove it. I've been winning matches, climbing the ladder of success since day one, and working towards my goal of becoming a great superstar. Tonight I climb one more rung by challenging another superstar who has followed a similar path of success. I think this guy wants to test the waters. Maybe see how far he can push before someone pushes back. That's fine with me. I think I can even almost understand it. But brother, you chosen to make this personal. You kept pushing. Here comes the NXT champion. AJ Styles, draft pick number one for NXT.
Things are getting interesting. What does the champ got to say? All right, great. Nice presentation. Good talk. Could you have used some visual aids or whatever? Thanks for sharing. Now it's time to get something important. You've got some testicular fortitude to come out here while I'm addressing my legions of fans. Whether it is you have to say, it better be important or we're going to have a serious problem. I love me some good fruit smoothie. The good fruit. And they taste amazing, especially tropical fruit. If I were a smoothie, I'd be a sweet and sour because I've got a great pair of grapefruits. you got nothing though. You're bland. Foreign milk. Mm. I think you greatly underestimate milk. Milk is highly versatile. It's great on its own, but also turn it into a shake and mix it with other stuff like chocolate sauce. Not to mention, without milk, you wouldn't have ice cream. The cereal would be much blander. You shouldn't underestimate milk. It's like how you shouldn't be underestimating. I'm going to make my, my pet project because I see something of myself in you. I really do. At the same time, I feel like I failed you. I'll let you convince yourself that you're a man around here. I did nothing to divorce you of that notion. That's on me. It's my responsibility to set you straight by taking you on in a one-on-one. -on -one. It's not a question of if. It's a question of when. I'm going to knock your face clear off your rafters. So from this day on, you better be watching over your soul because your day of reckoning is coming. I came out here tonight to give thanks. Thanks to each and every one of you. You guys have a special place in my heart. Seriously, I wouldn't be doing this if it weren't for all of you. You fans are what's the one keeping the WWE healthy. So truly, thank you. know where you are, tough guy. Maybe this got a little lost backstage and ended up in the wrong place. But you're in my ring. This is my yard. And I don't let uninvited guests into my yard. I hope you're insured because there's going to be one hell of a doctor's bill when I'm finished you're going to realize the price you pay for fighting someone as awesome as me. I'm not saying that because I'm angry or looking for revenge. It's just the truth. Roman Reigns telling AJ Styles that this is his yard. What do you, what do you think about that? Do you think this is Roman Reigns' yard? I don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see. AJ gonna hold down the camp. He is the camp that runs. He's the champ that runs the camp. I guess we got the women's champ in the house now. Alexa Bliss versus Maurice, the beautiful French Canadian. Hmm. If I remember correctly, I remember that you actually like these two. It's probably gonna be a hard choice for you to choose between who's going to win. Well, we're recording this in my room, but uh, uh, if you look around, I got two Maurice's, two Lexi's. I have Lexi's shirt on, as I said. I have all three on. Don't call me a weirdo. I have her gloves on, and I have a lot of cards of each of them from the from the tops. And uh, we're going to get underway here.
Here comes Little Miss Bliss, the Wicked Witch of WWE, the NXT Women's Champion. You know, Alexa Bliss, she has a pet pig. His name's Larry Steve. You should go check his YouTube channel out. Okay, um, okay. Yeah, as it's on YouTube. Channel. Yeah, he's actually pretty cute. Well, that is not the weirdest thing I have ever heard. I've heard I mean, weird. there's there's Grumpy Cat. So, um, yeah. Like again, Grumpy Cat has been like a staple on the internet since. I don't even know. You want a fun fact? Uh, yeah. Like, Alexa Bliss is actually six years older than I am. Which means she's six years older than you are. Yeah. Alright. Okay, yeah. If you guys could do the math there, you can actually tell how old people well, well, are. Well, they don't know how old yeah. people are. Well, if they could do the math. If you check my Twitter account, you'll know how old I am. You know how old he is. Fun fact, she's actually pregnant this past weekend. She and her husband, The Miz, is actually a superstar here on NXT. They revealed that they're having a baby girl. Yes, I actually checked Twitter a little bit the other day and actually lost that. Congratulations to both of them. You're calling me a weirdo again, but uh, referring to what you were saying a little bit ago. I used to obsess over her. Uh, can't lie. Overkill. I, 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 Obsession. To be honest, I, I was actually it, It's sad. It, it's very, very sad. This is a tough choice. I don't know who I'm going to pick in this one. To be honest. And both of them the same move. And Maurice with a takedown closer. Start working over the head. In case you didn't notice, uh, 2K actually put Alexa Bliss's uh, uh, Super Girl player parody oh. in this game. That's what she's wearing. Of course, she wore that at, at Elimination Chamber 2017. When she defended the SmackDown Women's Championship unsuccessfully against Naomi. That was a hard closing. Goes off to a good start here. Going for the backsplash. Marie's going for the pin. Ooh, insecurity. Marie's needs to get back into actual action. She's only a wrestler in this game on the active competitors roster because she had one match teamed in with her husband the Miz at WrestleMania 33 against John Cena and Nikki Bella. And of course, John Cena had to propose. Another one count. Do you think Maurice is going to be the champion? Perhaps get oh. up uh, the upper hand and getting a title shot. And Alexa Bliss with the close line. Ouch, looks like payback here. <laughs> damage right there. Alexa Bliss taunting Maurice. Side rushing legs. You gotta think. If Alexa Bliss hits Twisted Bliss, this is over. But the same goes for the French Kiss. You know, either way. And a Bulldog! Okay, that was... A Bulldog that ruins the audio, apparently. Yeah. And she hits the elbow drop. Our audio is completely shot. Oh. 
Marks of Bliss gonna go insult to injury. Out. Out. Okay, I know I know one time is bad enough, but two times? Insult to injury. Twisted Bliss! The chair makes the cover. And Maurice somehow kicks out at two. You know, Maurice was at one point the longest reigning Divas champion. Uh, yes. That all changed with AJ Lee. AJ Lee married to CM Punk, who's never coming back to the WWE. What? You never know who could show up on NXT now. Yeah. I mean, as we said, there will be more competitors coming in the near future. Including custom characters. Who knows who you'll see? Of course, with custom characters, when uh, they make their debut on either SmackDown or NXT, uh, we will put a. Uh, we will credit the user who uh, created them. Just because they're not all going to be on. Yeah. Bliss makes a cover and gets the win. The women's champion sending a message to the entire NXT women's block. But old Miss Bliss, as I said at the beginning of this episode, I am a Bliss fit for life. I don't think I've got anything yet. Now you know I am a bliss fit for life. Are you blessed off right now? Um, not at all. Yeah, I probably do. Okay. I'll just go to the show. That's all you could ask. Let us know in the comments at the end of the video. Or during the video. Your favorite matches. Your favorite moments. Your favorite show. Of course, we're, there's going to be four, we're going to have our own big four pay-per-views, just like the WWE, but they only two of them will coincide with the WWEs. You'll find that yeah. out when we show you the pay-per-view schedule. I Oh, we're going to get the Ambrose and Rollins versus the Good Brothers. I was going to say, should we actually let the tag team one be like, may I match or not? We're doing all of this. Well, of course, well, this is my show, so we're yeah. going to do it. Okay. You run your show how you want, I'll run my right, show I how was, I want. Okay, I was only... Right. I, was only I know, you're just asking the question. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm just saying, you're the general manager of SmackDown. I'm the general manager of NXT. We're, our shows are going to run differently. For the most part, they run the same, probably. Yeah. But... Three straight champions. Boom, boom, boom. From the tag team champion. The Shield. Ambrose and Rollins. I'm actually going to uh, find their Shield attire. I'm going to put that on them. But uh, for now, we get to see Seth freaking Rollins and Dean Ambrose. No, they actually reformed not too long ago. Like, two weeks ago. Well, apparently, what's really obvious that the world wasn't going to roll them, and they obviously aren't going to try to stick to this You really had to make that? Yes! Yes! It, maybe I should be smart, and instead of calling them the shield, I should call them the shed. That's some dirty deeds right there. Under cheap.
Here comes Gallows and Anderson. Well, that's cool. I didn't notice that. For actual WWE merchandise, I actually put the WWE on the floor. Whoa! Well, well, I'm like, this is Gotta add more, uh, realistic. Of course, no one is safe. That's the mantra of the club. Indeed. You know, maybe the omen in the sky for the shield, or in this case... The shed. Maybe... Maybe there is an omen in the sky. Maybe they're tag team champions. Maybe they're numbered. Maybe this is the first day. Probably is it the beginning of the end for the shed. Are, are there cracks in the shed? They run out of tools already. And Ambrose going to start off with the big man, Luke Gallows. You don't want to fire up Dean Ambrose. And Ambrose! It's saying it's early assault. So far from what I've noticed, early assault will eventually lead to down. Yep, that's that seems to be the uh, I don't know. Will the tag team champions well, be able to uh, change that? Well, except for the last match though. Yes, if I remember correctly, Bliss was obviously a head start. Ambrose, the Bulldog. Yeah, that's a new that's a new function. Well, re-added function. It brought back the hot tap. Gal's gonna tag in Anderson. Anderson with a neck break. Ambrose with a close one. Ambrose scouted that one. So, uh, what dueling on the edge deck should I do next? I got in a lot of decks since the last time I played. I don't know if you've been keeping up with dueling. That's uh, kind of because remember I actually did do the twice regarding the uh, editing for some. Yeah, that, that was season two. Yeah. I don't even think I uploaded anything for season two. Before. All I know is there's like nine episodes up, something like that. I think there's nine. There's nine episodes up. I think all of them but two feature James. Just letting you know though, I I kind of do not have any finish ones. Yeah, I'm not gonna have shown on my, like, YouTube. Well, I mean, you forgot about, uh... Dang, I forgot what his name was. I, uh, you did one of the Dueling on the Edge videos when he did it. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I might not be yeah. nominated. Yeah. He wants to keep his face in. Did we just blur your face? Somehow? Or are you just gonna sit in the background? Seth Rollins going at it with Luke Gallows now. You know, actually, if this program that we're using here is actually uh, viable, said it was, and we could actually use. There's tons of people actually using it. And we can, and then I can actually show you deck profiles. And he can show you deck profiles on uh, what we're doing on the edge on the book. 
Yeah. And oh, that had to hurt. Can you imagine getting clapped in the ear? And Rollins with the counter. Rollins firing up. Looks like these teams are getting pretty sharp here. Phoenix Splash! Will that be it? And Anderson with the, with the interference. Rollins. Kick! I don't know what Rollins actually calls that move. He's not allowed to do the curb tackle. Whoa! Ouch, they're both out. And Rollins with a suicide dive! Anderson. Oh, swing blade. Swing blade. Wrong one. Except swing blade. Right, no. Not enough. Rollins going buckle bomb. Thinking buckle bomb. Ooh. And he hits it again. And Anderson foils it again. A little miscommunication. Now. Might have been too much time. You know the shield win. Well, it looks like they're sharp enough. Sharper than the quad. Both both were meant to be sharp in the first place. One object. But they sure did pack a punch. This point. Tag champs. It's for a victory. They do, man. This is gold gold and shed has ever gone to. Alright, question of the day. Yeah. Which is which superstar from the Attitude Era is your favorite? And so many characters at the same time, though I haven't seen that game with the attitude era stuff. My favorite attitude era guy is Y2J Chris Jericho. Who could have ever, who could have ever thought that Y2J would become a star after he called out or interrupted the rock? Debut. And then he got he got roasted. Roasted. Absolutely roasted by the rock in his debut promo. And he's the most one of the most beloved guys on the roster now. Oh no, right? Of course. You mean the YouTube channel? Yeah. Y2J Bacon XD. Tossing it out there. Oh, we got the modern day Maharaja and the one man band, 2MB versus the Major Brothers. Oh, let's see how major things get here.
tonight. Spoiler alert, guys. I'm going to be like Eric Bischoff. I'm going to spoil something for you from SmackDown. He, uh... You chose the WWE title, right? Uh, I think, I think. His WWE Undisputed Champion is Edge. But I got the Edge Heads. That's the Major Brothers, for those of you who don't know. Yeah. We have the Edge Heads, but I actually have the Sharpest Keys in the set. So you don't have the shit. Exactly. I have a different set. Well, I have a modern set. I have a Maja. Maja. You know what that means? I Googled it. It means Prince. Well then. Big question here tonight, what is Prince get the wrong? So, I, you gotta love the, uh, the irony with this. The yeah. fact that Keith Slater's song, Star, he's, he's always the one man band. This song is actually a remix of his old song, One Man Band, but this was 3MP, so they titled it Three Man Band. And then, you know. Yeah. Everything happened, he went solo. He kept the song, of course, for some stupid reason. Yeah. And it had a layover saying, I'm just one man! Well, I'm a one man man! And then the next three lyrics, Every night on three! You ready to face the facts? Long Island, New York. Ah. Another shout out to another YouTube that I like to watch Grim's Toy Show. Hawking Fears Grim! Eat it! Yeah! Oh, man. Alright, just, just a little fun thing. So, I, I don't watch the. If he gets his own every day, he's the real key. I'm the rest of the cycle. I know stuff that I do not Yeah. Time to enter. Time to enter the Star Factory. You know it, bro. I don't like the three kids. Excuse me. I don't like the three kids. I like the original. NXT is actually on the verge of signing somebody very, very, very big. Of course, it's gonna have to wait until they release the stupid DLC patch. But, that'll. There you go. NXT has their eyes on some, some of the people in the DLC patch. Well, we'll let you figure out. Looks like it's gonna be Jinder Mahal starting off against Hurt Hawkins. You guys haven't seen him in years. And Hawkins with the start out of the box. Mahal counters. Showboat is probably not gonna get him. You know, fun fact about Kurt Hawkins dude is, dude is like 115 in the fourth. He doesn't want a match. He has a, he, 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 he's, he's on a losing streak. Wow, that happened. Oh, will it actually change? Mahal, neck break. Cheap shot. The Hawk, the Hawk and partner, Zack Ryder. Gender counter. And another face slap. Are you gonna bow down to the modern day Maharaja? You know, 
I like cheap meat. I really do. But, uh, he could do without the cheap meat. And he's a freaking joke. He goes from jobbing to WWE Champion. How? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, that! Wow. That was. Target like. Uh, we're actually gonna. We're, we're working out the kinks in this commentary system. We're gonna get a little. Me and him are gonna discuss some things and stuff. Yeah. And what we can and cannot do. Because it's mostly just been random stuff. And, uh. I mean, random stuff? Yeah, we don't, we don't mind at all. It's, it has to pertain to we But, uh, here on NXT, we want to call the action. What was that? Hot tag! Here comes Slater! The one man band! Tags in. Zack Ryder. Here's a fun fact. Hawkins Ryder, as well as Heath Slater, all three of them used to be tag team champions. Not together. Hawkins Ryder. That hasn't been since 2008. You know, Heath Slater's got kids. Ryder helped him, helped him get a job. And, you know, get an above ground pool. Wow. That's nice. Oh. oh. Ryder with a truck bust. Ryder going to go up top. What's he thinking up there? Oh, he went for the frog splash. Hawkins wants a tag. Slater with a backbreaker. And the signature. One count. Eight tags in. Hawkins with a shoulder tap. And another hot tag to Jinder Mahal. Okay, what was that right Both of these tag teams want to get in the tag team title scene. We already saw the shield. They just defeated the, the team of... Uh, oh. Yes, as I said, that's Shaggy's going to Of course, Roman Reigns called out AJ Styles earlier in the week. Perhaps, perhaps uh, that's going to form a little bit of a word. Yes, I mean. yes. Not even a one count. <laughs> the Maharaja of the WWE. Mahal kicks out at two. Oh, getting ready for something big over here. And Mahal countered!
Maybe I should just turn the crowd off. No, maybe. Hawking's going up. And a leg drop. He's going for the gym again. And they, they he got the power rise off! Oh, it's amazing, bro. That's a win for Hawkins. Indeed. Finally, that team's going to die. This team's going to get a job again. Oh, you know that's what all 3 and B was. They were a bunch of jobbers. I think NXT is almost over. Uh, we're going to have to record more episodes. Uh, that's why we This way we have one. Yeah. It's... I can't believe this. I honestly didn't think Hawkins and Ryder had a chance. Man, I can't believe that the team was Ryder. Yeah, same. None of these products that we <laughs> talk about were not sponsored. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> See what's going to happen next. I wonder. The Viper. Oh. Randy Orton. Can't wait. What's what does the Apex Predator have on his mind? I don't know, but I have a bad feeling. This can't be good. Is he going to call out AJ Styles now? Maybe. Maybe he's gonna he's gonna invite somebody to Viperville. Indeed. You know, all it takes is one RKO to get there. It Out of does. nowhere. It does. You think Randy Orton could have made it in the Attitude Era? Hmm. I mean, you got all the big stars like Kurt Angle, The, the Undertaker, Kane, Big Show, Jericho, Rock, Austin, Triple H. Yeah. I don't... I honestly think Randy would get lost in the shuffle. He wouldn't be the big star he is today. He probably would get lost. Here, here comes the Viper. Let's hear what he's got to say. This makes me wonder if he's also going to go after AJ Styles or eventually end up there. Maybe. How this would go? He's going to call out. I hope you guys are ready for one hell of a night because with WWE anything can happen. And tonight I stand before you a man ready to make his mark and prove that he not only deserves to be inside this ring, but also deserves to be considered one of the best superstars in the history of this business. Kurt Angle! Well then. Here comes the Olympic champion! No, Kurt Angle won an Olympic gold medal with a broken freaking neck. Why are that team broken? Of course, you can see that story from the WWE Network that was the Wall Yeah, to be honest, maybe. Yeah, they're not sponsored. We're just going to keep reminding you. Yeah. yeah. It was a good doctor. It's like, you should check it out. It's like I will remind you that people will be in this game about the spot by AFC. And true. And Snicker. What the Olympic question. champion have to say? I'm sorry to interrupt, but I, I learned a long time ago that the only one way to get attention around here is to just take it. It's nothing personal, but I got something on my mind that I need to deal with right now. Well, isn't this interesting, folks? Looks like we got someone who doesn't appreciate the great work I do here. 
And in the tradition of the WWE, allowing those with grievances to just walk out and air them at any time, regardless of who or what is going on, here he comes to let us hear all about it. I was backstage feeling a little froggy, so I decided to jump. That's how they saying goes, right? I've never been that good at talking, you know, like some people. I am. I usually let my actions speak for me. Your actions speak higher than words. You don't ever stop, do you? It's like you to just keep digging yourself deeper and deeper into trouble with every word. Maybe it's time that I come down here and do the world a giant favor by smashing your face in. Perhaps then we would have to hear your obnoxious voice overwhelming our eardrums any longer. Is fighting right? Superstars like you are an embarrassment to this business. You come out here like you're some kind of a big shot. But you haven't earned it. You haven't earned anything. Everything you have has been handed to you. And it makes me sick. You make me sick. You come out here, you step into my ring, and you try to tell me how this is going to go down? Have you lost your mind? This is one of those prison movies. You know, prove you're a big man by taking out the strongest guy in the yard. You think you're brave? There's a fine line between courage and stupidity, my friend. You just crossed it. Figures you know right where the stupid line is. All right, let me make something clear. I'm not here to take out the biggest man in the yard. I am the biggest man in your yard. I thought this was Roman's yard. All right. I don't know, maybe they're sharing a plot? I've already seen the future, and it's me standing tall in victory with my arms raised high and a crowd cheer. Doesn't make magical powers to see that. Just ask anyone here in the crowd. Everyone knows I'll win. You have your head so far up your own butt to see anything that's as clear as day. I'll see you soon. Kurt Angle telling Randy Orton he's not retired yet. Kurt Angle's your Olympic champion. After all, you won a gold medal even after suffering in, in the 1996. Indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that's it for our show. We'll see you. That's all for NXT. This is Mike, aka Y2J Bacon XD. I'm Warrior Edge. This video is over. Stick tuned for SmackDown tomorrow, and uh, catch you on the flip side. See you later. <laughs>